Ahuna Veti Gatha, Yasna 33. Yatha is Ethavareshite Yadatan Heus Pauruya Yaratus Shyathana Razishta Regvata Echa Yacha Ashaune Yahyacha Hemem Yasete Methahya Yacha Hoea Resva In accordance with these laws of life, first. In accordance with these laws of the first life, the judge will enact the most just decisions for the wicked as well as the righteous, and for the man who combines the false and just actions. So the first life, the short life, the incarnate in this body life. Verse 2. Adya kem dregvayate vachanhava advamananha zasto vidya vabereshiti vanhan vachoethite astim tovevarae. Radanti Ahurahya Zashe Mazdaev. But whoever by speech, word, or deed do no harm to the wicked, or converts one to the good, or instructs a fellow believer, they are working for the will and for the pleasure of Lord Mindful in preparation. Just because they might not support you doesn't mean you have to uh, justly, you know, doesn't mean it's just to persecute people. Um, verse 3. Yashani vahishtu vahetu vahet vaherezenyo Iryamna vahura vidas vathwakshyanha gaboe adavo ashahya anhat venheus cha vastre mananho. Whatever, through being a gentleman by birth, is best to the Ashaist. R, which herd, laborer, R, an expert peer, R, zealous for the cattle, O Lord, surely he will come to be on the pasturage of justice and good disposition. Islam talks about this pasturage, too, and then there's the gray areas, largely gray areas because we don't know um, or don't have enough information and therefore are or we don't know where it's going right um, the forbidden pasture and the pasture that we're explicitly told and that which we can figure out and verse 4 yeth what mazdas rushtim akem chamano yazayapa Vaetus cha termitim verezena ya cha nasdishtam drujem iriam manas cha nadentu geus cha vastrat achishtem mantum. I, who by praying, 
would, Lord mindful, conjure away disobedience and badness from thee, and contrariness from the gentleman and the neighborhood of the wicked, from the group of laboring men, and cursing from the peer and poor farmers, from the pasturage of the cattle. Verse 5. Yastavis pe mazishtem serashem zabayavanhane apanodarengo jayetim akshyatram Van heus manan hu ashat aerezus patho yashu mazda yahuro shayati. I, who invoke obedience as the greatest of all for help, having reached long life, the realm of good disposition and the justice straightened paths on which Lord Mindful dwells. So an active return, rather than a, you're going to return now and you have to be drugged and you die and you're to face the consequences whether you like it or not, the, the joyous return in life. Verse 6, and let me make sure it doesn't continue past that. Yezata shairezus havomanyeus avahishtat keya kaya Ah, mat, ava, manan, ha, ya, manta, vastria, ta, to, is, ya, ahura, mazda, darsh, to, cha, who as a priest threw justice from the best desire the just of the bounteous mentality going towards the pastures which advisory managers ought to work through the good disposition I wish, Lord Mindful, to consult together and the bounteous visibility. Verse 7. <speaking in Hebrew> Ya shruye pare manga uno avis nai antare hendu nam avaitis chietrae ratayo. Come hither to me, O oh, you best, come here personally, mindful visibly with justice and good disposition. Inform me how I might heard before or outside of the Magians. Let reverent services of worship be clearly and manifestly among us. Certainly, you know, we want to do stuff, but it's, we are the means, right? We're the means of these choices. 
that we've been allowed to make. Verse 8. From Ephrabo is doom, Aretha Yabahushya Vai Mananha Yasnem Mazda Kshmavato Atvashastamya Vachai Kata Bemerita Escha Uteoeti Harvatas Drano. O oh, do thou regard the interest which I am advancing through good disposition, the hymn O oh, mindful. One like you, and my grateful communion with justice, and give me your twin, and give me your twin enduring possessions of immortality and health. So when we worship other beings are attracted to and involved in the process. Verse 9. But let me, O oh mindful, bring the mentality of these two companions who prosper the just life unto the comfortable dwellings with me, who have the best disposition. In this arousing support of these two, whose souls are accompanying each other. Verse 10. Vis paesto ihuji teo yaesi aenhare yaes cha henti yaes cha mazda pavaenti thwami his zaushe Abakshova Bahukshya Mananha Kshatra Ashacha Ushta Tanum. Distribute O mindful, from thy delight all the pleasures of life which were and are and are yet becoming, and cause my body to grow as I wish, with good disposition, power, and justice. Verse 11. Yes, avish to wahuru mazda escha Armaiti cha ashem cha fradat gaethem manas cha bahuksha threm cha srata moe meres data moe 
adai kaya chit peti who art the strongest holy one of mindful and love, prospering as if they were earthly substance, justice, and good disposition and power. Hear me, pity me, when to every man comes retribution. Now, we may know certain qualities through certain beings, but at the source of it is divinity with those qualities in itself as its persona. Verse 12. Usmoe tavishim dasva spenishta menyumazda vanduya zaboada ashahazo Emavat Vahu Mananha Feseratum. Arise up to me, Lord mindful, grant me through love vitality, through the most bounteous mentality, grant me strength through retribution and through justice, powerful might and through good disposition compensation. Verse 13. Rathedraev Vorchashanev Vorchashanev Doeshi Moe Yaveh Abifra Takshatra Ya Uraya Venheus Ashes Mananho Frospenta Armati Ashada Nai Fradakshaya. In order to grant me support, O thou wide glancing. Show me the incomparable of thy realm, O Lord, are the compensations of good disposition. O bounteous love, instruct the spirits through justice. And the last verse of this chapter. Adratanzarathustro tanvas cheat. Vahyayam ushtanam dadati parvatatam mananhascha vanheus mazdai shyothanahya ashay yacha ukdahyacha Seraushan Kshathrencha. But, O Lord mindful, Zarathustra offers as an oblation his own body and the first fruits of good disposition and the obedience and power of his deeds and uttered words through justice. And that's one of the great truths of it all, isn't Isn't there? Is that the greater struggle that we are to take part in is not war. Yes, we can go out and we give up our lives and we're willing to die to defend the rights of others and protect ourselves, right? But the greater thing is to give your whole life, your body, in regular life, as an offering unto what you worship. 
and Yasna, the outline of Agathas. Let's see how far we can go with this. Yasna 45, Sermon on Dualism, Teaching, Agriculture, as Road to Paradise. Repeated, open your ears to the mystery. Verse 1, Zarathustra preaches to multitudes from far and near, lest the Druge prophet mislead them. Part 2, the, dualist, the doctrinal dualistic foundation of partisanship. Verse 2, the good spirit sets up a total disagreement with the bad spirit. Part 3, the good spirit teaches the best word of agriculture. Verse 3, whoso disagrees with Zarathustra's revelation shall suffer the end of life. Verse 4, the best in this life is the efficient Bohumano doctrine and beneficent Armati agriculture. Verse 5, the best word to hear is obedience to it. That will earn health and immortality. Part 4, Ahura Mazda will vindicate Zarathustra as judge by reward and punishment. Remember what happens with basically what you hear with any sent one. Um, it's not unique to Jesus or anything like that. Um, Muhammad, same thing. They're to testify, hey. And accordingly, their testimony about their deliverance of their message will confirm whether or not uh, people deserve such and such station. So testifying, so at the end he'll be called, my nation, this is what my nation got. So whether that's for them or against them. Verse 6 and 7. This has been revealed through Ahura Mazda, who disposes of final rewards and punishments through his kingdom. Verse 8. Ahura Mazda should be won by prayer. Verse 9. We should seek contentment through Vohomanu and efficiency through Ahura Mazda. That doesn't mean we have to pray to the Holy Ghost. Um, verse 10. Who through Asha and Vohomanu promised Arvatat and Amaratat in his realm? Part 5. Zarathustra remains mediator. The attainment of all this depends on the insisting on enlisting the support of the prophet and redeemer helper by being devoted to him alone. I am the way, the truth, and the light. So, you know, you got to accept the person who comes with such messages. Yasna 46. War preliminaries of heart searchings and encouragements. Verse 1. Oh, wait. Part 1. Failure in conversion and demands on Mazda for vindication. Verse 1. Conversion lags. All the estates oppose the prophet. Verse 2. Zarathustra's poverty diminishes his influence so that he depends on God. Verse 3 and 4. Who is expected to stem the tide and break the power of the prince who is the chief obstacle? Part 2. Rules how to treat converts. Verse 5 and 6, converts are to be protected from injury by former associates. Part 3, actual struggle to, perfect, uh, to protect converts against Bendva. Verse 7 and 8, hope that all will turn out well and that opponents will meet with punishment. Part 4, Zarathustra is the first prophet Obedience to him gains paradise. Well, you got to accept a more recent prophet, don't you? If such things really exist. Um, part 9. He himself was the first to proclaim the truths of salvation. Part 10. Whoever obeys him attains paradise. It's a New Testament, Old Testament, Quran, you know, in different terms. Obey God, obey the prophet, um, but actually the actual prophet, not um, not necessarily what the priest say, um, but what's actually said. Um, whoever obeys and maintains paradise, verse ten, verse eleven. His opponents will on the judgment bridge be sifted into hell, verse twelve. But he hopes that the descendants of Fryana, the Torah will be converted and gain paradise. 
Verse 13, whoever disobeys Zarathustra is worthy to be heard of and will attain both worlds. Oh, whoever obeys Zarathustra is worthy to be heard of and will attain both worlds. Okay, that's... You know, obviously, whether a good preacher or much, much more for a prophet, they hope that their message will be accepted for anybody. They're not, well, they did wrong. I hope they, I hope they don't turn their life around so they get hellfire and get punished or get punished. No. Um, part five. Praise for the supporters of his cause. Fourteen. Kvai Vishtaspa will be rewarded by union with Ahura Mazda in heaven. 16. Frasha Ostra Vagva is to attain both his wishes and the entities. Part 6. Partisanship with Zarathustra essential to gain paradise. 15. Hayatcha Taspas are to learn discrimination and attain Asha. 17. Jamaspa Havagva's prayers and docility will be remembered beyond. 18. Zarathustra promises friendship to friends and enemy and enmity to enemies. 19. Whoever satisfies Zarathustra shall attain future life and a pair of cows which Ahura Mazda will know how to procure. And we hear the cows in paradise being able to fill, feed whole groups of people with just, you know, the best part of its liver. Um, like a hundred people or different, different things like that. Um, Yasna 47. Song of the Spirit as inspirer of war. One. Whoever evidences the right spirit in thought, word, and deed shall receive from Ahura Mazda the highest reward. Hence, that right spirit should be evidence, because Ahura Mazda is the father of all who hold the Asha. Again, you know, figure of speech of, oh, you're on my side, but I first, so I'm your father. Um, I, I don't like using that language in my own life, but um, one can understand. Verse 3, Ahura Mazda is also the father of that spirit who created the cattle for men and pasture for the cattle. 4. All Ashaist should separate from the opponents who have fallen away from that spirit. See, they've fallen because they have choice. So the uh, loyal hosts, the Ahuras and the real angels, well, I mean the unfallen angels, the light beings, well, they're of a different type of creation, aren't they? 5. And then we will have no share in the rewards of the Ashaist. 6. It is hoped that the expectation of reward may yet convert many. And Yasna 48. Incoherent appeal for champions and defenders. Well, it's it's been a long time, you know, 1700 BCE, 2000 BCE. It's been a long time since the language of this was established. Um, part one, hope for rewards in this life. One, ultimate victory of Asha is certain. Two, the lot of the faithful should improve in this life already. Part two, punishment for opposers and waverers. Verse three, it is wisdom to hold to the secret teachings of Ahura Mazda. Four, persons who waver between these divine teachings and their own inclinations Wishes and convictions shall be separated. Part 3. Right to believers to present comfort. Well, one thing that happens is that we think about all sorts of things. If we know something exists, we think about it. So it's natural to have some sort of desire at some point. Um, 3. Right of believers to present comfort. Through good prince, uh, oh, verse five. Through good princes, our matey is to provide pasture for cattle and for men, the earning of paradise. 
Verse 6, the earth was designed as a residence for men, as pastures for cattle. Verse 7, all who seek eternal reward must protect cattle from cruelty. Part 4, uncertainty here and hereafter. Verse 8, is the realm of Ahura Mazda certain? Or is prophet Zarathustra? Will the judgment favor his own followers? Verse 9, how will his life shape itself in this world? Will he be able to protect himself from his enemies? Part 5. Nobles must resign luxury and force security and gain salvation. Verse 10. When will the nobles absent themselves from the ceremonies of the opposing priests and rulers? Verse 11. This alone will enforce security. Verse 12. Helpers in the land are those who practice enforcement of Ahura Mazda's laws. They are conquerors of Aeshma, destined rulers and saviors. So, we are lowercase lords and lowercase saviors because we're trying to save people from, you know, from evil and all that. Um, Shnaparahurahe Masta, Shambhoho Kamna Masta, Shambhoho.